FHS, welcome back to BKTV. This week we'll be, we will be taking a look at Suicide Prevention Month, Night's Locker, and the highly anticipated homecoming game against Sykeston. I'm Abby Gent. And I'm Kim Smith, and we will be your anchors today, and welcome to the show. The month of September was Suicide Prevention Month. On September 22nd, a walk to prevent suicide prevention was held in Engler Park. Although it was free to participate, there was items for sale and all the proceeds went towards the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention. Here we take a look at a few of our FHS BKTV students who went and supported the great cause. The month of September is National Suicide Prevention Month, where all month mental health advocates, prevention organizations, survivors, allies, and community members unite to promote suicide prevention awareness. Two weeks ago, National Suicide Prevention Week took place from Monday, September 9th to Sunday, September 15th. The week focuses on a time to share stories and again promote suicide prevention. The week encompasses September 10th, World Suicide Prevention Day. High school and the stress it puts on students in 2018 is immense. Most teens must balance schoolwork, extracurriculars, a job, family, a social life, while all making sure to keep their mental health in check. Many times, high school students can feel lost or overwhelmed in their busy lives. Suicide is the second leading cause of death in adolescence. In 2015, 18% of students from grades 9 to 12 thought seriously about committing suicide. 8.6% actually attempted suicide, and 2.8% attempted suicide needing medical attention. If you hear someone talking about killing themselves, feeling hopeless, having no reason to live, being a burden to others, feeling trapped, or unbearable pain, they may be in need of help. Behaviors that may signal risk, especially if related to a painful event or an increased use of alcohol or drugs, looking for a way to end their lives, such as searching online for methods, withdrawing from activities, isolating from family and friends, sleeping too much or too little, visiting or calling people to say goodbye, or giving away prized possessions. If you or anyone you know express these feelings, please look for help. Be open and compassionate with your friends. If necessary, reach out to an adult or urge your friend to attend therapy. 1-800-273-8255 is the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. It is 24 hours and completely confidential. Apps such as BetterHelp are an online counseling service to reach out to professionals in times of need. If you are struggling, reach out. You are not alone. For those of you who don't know, during lunch our school has a little store full of snacks. Night's Locker. Let's go to Ethan and Maria and see what's really going on in the locker. Hi, I'm Ethan Burke reporting for BKTV Studios, and this week we're going to take a look at Night's Locker, so follow me for an inside look. I also had the opportunity to interview one of the Night Locker's workers, Maria Harris. Some experiences that Night Soccer gives you that are different from other clubs and activities, I think are just the familiarity of everyone around you, because everyone in the school goes to Night Soccer to get their favorite snacks, everyone's usually in a good mood, like, and you just get to know people, you get to know their orders, and I think it also gives you a sense of business and responsibility, because no matter what station you're working, whether you're on a register, whether you're in the classroom, or uh, even just doing service, you're learning something, whether it be something monetary, something social, like social aspects of life that you learn that too. So night soccer entails six main jobs that you all rotate through. So you've got the main register, which is where all the main snacks go through, and you're in charge of making sure you get everything accounted for, you give people the right change. That way, when you go back and count the money later, everything adds up. Inventory, basically in charge of the tally sheet. You have to make sure you see everything on the board, again, so that when you get to the end, numbers match up and make sure that you're not you don't have extra money or you're not losing money. Then service is in charge of basically getting everything behind the counter for people. So you always have to keep restocking and you always have to keep talking to people and communicating with people to figure out what they want. Uh, <laughs> and then Soda has about three main jobs. Soda's in charge of that register, the Soda register the tally sheet, and service all at the same time. And then classroom 
is in charge of basically going through everything in days past, counting all the money, uh, cashing up at the bank, looking at all the tally sheets and making sure all the numbers are matching, which a lot of times they don't and it's the most frustrating thing in the world. I think working with the same people for the whole year is in terms of good thing because you get to know how everyone works and what they're interested in and what they're good at. Also, but it can also be not a great thing because I have argued with Eamon over the music for the past month and that that's an ongoing ordeal. I don't think our characteristics ever like clash. Like we've never like gotten to a fight and I just I don't think that would happen. Mostly because like struggles there to mediate, but I think that like small things like, oh my god, your music sucks, like yeah, that'll definitely happen. But I do think that working in night soccer kind of does prepare you for a future career. Because it does give you that social aspect of like seeing some of the same people every day, learning their orders, and being able to carry a conversation with people, and gaining those social skills that are super important, but you do also, like I said before, gain a sense of responsibility, and learn some of the basic functions of a business that I think would help you in a career. So be sure to check out Nice Soccer and BKTV's own Marie Harris Engaged Voice as they're open during all lunch shifts. Back to you, Abby. Thank you for the update. If you guys need any more information on Night's Locker, feel free to contact Ms. Strobel in room 204. It's homecoming week! Today's PJ Day, Tuesday is Beach Day, Wednesday is Country vs. Country Club Day, Thursday is Out of This World Day, and Friday is Black and Gold Day. Float building will be every day after school, Monday through Thursday from 6 to 9. The best float wins... Bragging, Bragging rights. rights! Be watching your emails this week to cast your vote for Homecoming Queen. Every vote counts. This Friday is a half day. The parade will start at 1.30 and the football game will start at 7. The theme for the football game is black and gold. Everyone show your black knight pride. Just when you thought we were done talking about Hoko, Saturday is the homecoming dance. It's $5 to get in and it's 7 to 10. Brady, as you're a senior now, what are you most looking forward to coming into your last homecoming? To be honest, I just want to be really hyped. I wanted to be very full of school spirit. I yeah. wanted to you know, be very... Um, social. I wanted to interact with my peers as much as I can, make memories for the long run, and I just remember it the best I can. Um, looking back at your four years though, with the entire experience, what have you loved the most? To be honest, I think just, like I said before, kind of making memories, because you know, that's one thing that you know, you're going to carry with you after high school, because there's a lot of things that's going to be here that you know, necessarily aren't going to be with you for the long run. Uh, you might lose some friends, you might lose some experiences, but overall, the hierarchy the meat of the memories that you're going to have are just going to be there for you. So if you were to tell the younger kids as of like the freshmen, sophomores, what would definitely be, what would be that? I think just get out there, you know, make a name for yourself, make sure people know you, kind of have a broad friend group, don't really confine yourself to one clique or one group, and kind of just go out there and be yourself. You were part of the Stu Co. I was, uh, yes. Team, but in general, how hard do they work? Uh, the, whole thing. the whole thing. It's a very organized, well, well oiled machine overall. Uh, everyone does their part really. Uh, being the president, I know that I kind of oversaw uh, what was going on from a higher point of view, kind of delegated tasks. So mm -hmm. that's kind of really hands on. And that's kind of how everybody in Studio Co. kind of uh, tries to be. They just really try to put in the best effort to do it. I'm here with Isaiah Robbins, freshman at Farmington High School. <clears throat> Isaiah, with your first ever homecoming coming up, like, what are your feelings? Uh, Probably be really different because like middle school is like not as probably not as good as the high school homecoming because like yeah. more people better you know more student council more decorations and stuff. Being involved with Key Club and Chess Club, what are some advantages of you know adventuring out to high school, getting involved with you know extracurricular clubs, and other students? Well, Key Club is kind of like a lot of events like having that community and. Been nowhere to go out and helping people like who can't kind of help themselves, so it's kind of like nice helping them out. Miss Ward, you've been a part of the homecoming tradition of Farmington for. Uh, um, I've been in Farmington for nine years now. Nine years. And among the students, you're well known for how you participate in your week. Like, what's your. Like, why do you go so far? Um, I think whenever the teachers get involved, the kids like to get involved more. We see teachers participate in it, and not just myself, a lot of the teachers. 
felt really good. Um, I think it puts them in a better mood of thinking, you know, what if we can do it, I can do it. So I think the more participation we have from teachers, the better, better off the students will want to participate. Do you like to sense like a mood change in the kids at all? Like oh, absolutely, it, and it's such a it's such an eye too. Um, maybe some kiddos that are new, like the new and coming freshmen, don't know the teacher. Uh, you know, and I can do Miss Dunnigan. She always dresses up to the nines every Spirit Week. So whenever she's coming out um, in her nerd gear, and the students don't know that, they they really get excited. And uh, you know, Homecoming Week is so fun for everybody. So we just need to embrace it and enjoy it. What's your favorite part of the whole process? Um, I like to dress them up. I like to see what the kids do. I like to see what the teachers do. Um, and I love to jam a day on a Monday. That's, <laughs> that is my favorite day because then I can um, you know, wear my shorts and t-shirts to support everybody. That's all we have for you guys this week. We'll see you next week.